everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to have you tag along with us today. We're headed to an XFL game uh, with the LA Wildcats. We're definitely a sports family. Obviously, every single person in this car plays sports at a pretty competitive level, uh, commensurate with their age or has played in the past. So sports are a really big part of our lives, not just because of the kids stuff, them playing and me coaching Lions team, but also because Kofi is the National Director of Sports and Entertainment Real Estate for a nationally recognized uh, real estate brokerage. So he has all different kinds of clients in the sports space uh, across a variety of sports, uh, tennis, football, rugby, basketball, baseball. It's kind of cool because it really, um, gives us a lot of great opportunities to go to a lot of major sporting events. And fortunately, LA has become such a hub for um, sports that there are so many events locally that we can go to and when the opportunity arises, we can take the kids with us. So yeah, there's been a huge convergence of sports and entertainment that just continues to grow in the LA market. And uh, as Mimi mentioned, um, a lot of my clients are sports and entertainment clients. And what was kind of cool about last year is I put on an event called the Team Summit, the Entertainers, Athletes, and Media Summit. And one of our uh, headliners was the president of the XFL Los Angeles team, Heather Carrots. And um, also we had a panel where we talked about even the convergence of sports entertainment and media. And we had their director of marketing, who's also a client and close personal friend of ours, Steven Graciano. So uh, we've been invited to attend an XFL game today in Los Angeles. Have some tickets waiting at Will Call for us. The uh, Wildcats are playing, so we're excited to see that taking the family out. First very, time. Uh, yeah, first time. Very family friendly environment from what we're here. So we're going to check it out. We'll report on that. But yeah, it's uh, it's fun to get out. It's fun to you know do things as a family. Um, everything from playing sports, you know, watching our kids play to attending sporting events. It's, it's all good. So it's not just the sports clients where we get a lot of hookups. Actually, this jacket that I got was a Christmas present from, um, can I say? Actually, can I say? <laughs> it was a crazy, I mean, wait. So yeah, we're headed to this XFL game. I think it's really great for the kids to be exposed to a variety of sports, even though we're pretty much um, focused on soccer. It's great to just observe what competition looks like and to just see the game played at high levels. It's really inspiring and motivational. Uh, so excited to bring the kids out. It's always fun, fun for everybody. And of course we are dealing with LA traffic, trying to get to this as always. Yes, LA traffic, LA traffic. Even on a Sunday afternoon, some of the recent really great sporting events that we've been to over the past couple years include LA Rams games, for sure we've been to many of those, it's been fun. Um, we actually got uh, Clippers tickets, season tickets, um, about a year or two ago, and so we went to many games, and that was super cool because when we took the kids to that game, it was their first professional basketball game, and Laya was the fan of the game. <laughs> like she won fan of the game in a dance off. You remember that, Laya? It was super cool. On the jumbo truck. On the shoot dance, she like competed, yes, out competed like two other little kids in the audience, and she was on the jumbo truck. Let me tell you guys, we had great tickets for the LAFC 
game, we actually sat in the section that swiggled benches. The seats were so good that the ushers didn't even know where they were. Do you remember? It's so funny. They were like, we don't even know where this is. Benches. So you're literally right behind the bench. And they have a beautiful facility over there. The suite is just, it's stunning. It's really nice. And the game was fantastic. And I love LAFC fans. And actually, um, wasn't Heather involved in LAFC before? Yeah, so that's cool. Um, oh, and we recently, I guess in the last year or so, saw the US Women's National Team play, which is always inspiring and fun. We went with the whole team. Oh, and Kofi just saw some rugby. Yes. Like two days ago or something. <laughs> no, like I guess that was last week. Yeah, yeah, Major League Rugby. It's uh, starting to grow in popularity. There's a team coming to LA. So one of my good friends, Todd Cleaver, played for the US national team for 10, he was captain of the team, I think for 10 years, played for about 15 years total, uh, but invited me out. He's uh, participating in Major League Rugby on the ownership side and corporate side now, but the league is growing pretty quickly. So it was really cool to see. I think, I feel like rugby, touches the little boy in all of us where you just want to run and dodge people and tackle people and I played football I played American football and it's it was just crazy to see guys going in literally head first with no uh no gear or anything it's uh it's, it's crazy but it was it was a lot of fun to watch for sure so the game today is going to be at the Dignity Health uh, Stadium which is actually the stadium where Kofi and I first encountered each other because this is the stadium where I played my opening two World Cup games in the 2003 Women's World Cup. So I always feel sentimental when I come down to this stadium. So this is where we used to practice before the games. I remember before our China game, like I was kind of checking out what they were doing, their practice, and I'm telling you, they had such precision practices. This is like they were so precise in their execution of every single thing. It was amazing. It was amazing. Actually, that year, they did an amazing commercial where the entire team was like juggling and doing tricks all at the same time in unison, in synchronicity. It was, it was super cool. I can't remember who uh, sponsored it, but it was a great commercial. We lost 1-0, but it was a big deal because they were the number two team in the world at the time and we it was only our second world cup that we had ever played in so it was kind of a big deal to have that result united states u.s women's national team u.s women's national team awesome my my you know my second favorite team. yes i think we came to actually i think we came to a galaxy game out here yeah, we did. Yeah, when you guys were little alert. That's what I'm saying, the LA Galaxy game. So, yep, this is where it all started. <coughs> I'm sorry, let me say that again. So, yeah, just so loud, okay. This is where it all started. <coughs> what were you saying? This might be where it all ends. <laughs> this might be where it all ends as well. We made our way in and we found our crew and our seats. And what was really interesting is that the XFL has slightly different rules than the NFL. So we heard a little bit about the rules of the game on the Jumbotron. Punts and travel out of bounds are placed at the 35-2 or where the ball left the field, whichever is better for the receiving team. Plus, the punting team can't cross the line of scrimmage until the ball is kicked. So the receiving team is less likely to call for a fair catch and more likely to return it. We're making a point more about coaches going for it on fourth down. So get ready to get loud. All these kids needed to hear was get ready to get loud because that's exactly what they did. They had such a good time from the beginning of the game until the very end.
The home team actually played great that day too, which of course always makes it more fun. One thing that I was really excited about was that they had a female referee and I understand that it's part of the XFL's mandate that each team should always have at least one female official on staff. So that was very cool. It's a little known fact that I used to be in the high school marching band, so I was thrilled to see a marching band at the game performing. My takeaways from this game was that it was indeed really family friendly. Everyone in our family had a great time. The team played great and we had a winning result. So we'll definitely be back. Can't wait for the next game. Go Wildcats.